There's a place along the Washington coast called Ocean Shores that I used to visit when I was young. I remember it as being full of expansive beaches, amazing scenery, and wonderful wildlife watching opportunities. After returning to my home state after 22 years, I decided that I needed to reconnect with everything that Washington had to offer, and what better way to start than searching for the majestic bald eagle along the western coastline. When the western world first came to these shores, there was an estimated 300 to 500,000 of them. By the end of the 1950s, the population was only 412 nesting pairs. This is due to humans' use of pesticide DDT, which affected the eggs of the eagle, keeping them from hardening after being laid. The bald eagle was declared endangered in 1967, and legislation was put in place that would attempt to save this beautiful creature. DDT was banned from use in 1972, and since then the eagle's numbers have rebounded tremendously. Eating a diet of mostly fish, this eagle partakes in a behavior known as kleptoparasitism, which is just a fancy way of saying that they like to steal their food. With an impressive wingspan of up to 7 feet, it's easy to see how they're able to intimidate other animals into abandoning their catch. I didn't focus solely on eagles, however. There is just so much life in this seven mile stretch of beach that it's possible to get sensory overload unless you're careful. Shore birds abound. I saw thousands of avocets, plovers, rails, sandpipers, gulls, and the list goes on. It's not only life that's out here, though. Death is present as well as it is the natural order of things. Without death, there could be no life. Whale and seal carcasses provide an abundant food source for many of the animals living here. During my research before heading out on this trip, I knew that finding a carcass would be my best shot for locating scavenging animals to include the eagle. While it is known that eagles eat a lot of fish, they will eat other carrion as well if necessary. Although the bald eagle has no sense of smell, it has an excellent sense of taste, and if it tastes food that's rotten, it won't eat it. Scanning the beach upon my arrival, it didn't take long for me to find this beautiful animal. Notice how he's perched off the ground? On this trip, over three days, I saw only three eagles on the ground. The rest were perched just like this. The vision of this animal is more than four times better than ours at long distances. This gives them the advantage that having a high enough perch allows them to scan over wide areas in constant search for food. This beautiful adult is doing just that. In fact, during most of my time on the beach, this is exactly how I found the birds that I wanted to photograph. I did my own scanning of the beach and looked specifically at high driftwood snags or dead trees like this one near the water's edge. This did the trick and is where I captured most of my images. Here's one of my favorites. So majestic. This eagle must have just had lunch because he was happy to sit and watch his territory for more than an hour before he flew away from me. But not before I was able to capture another beautiful Eventually, it was time to say goodbye to these incredible creatures. It looks like this adult had the same idea. Although I didn't see many eagles as I had hoped, I went home content and with a sense of awe.